and welcome live to Air Force Academy for another edition of UC Riverside Basketball, the unofficial pregame show here on the Inland Sports Channel. We appreciate you watching live on YouTube right now as well as uh, the Twitter feed. So make sure if you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, we'd really appreciate it. And also make sure you follow us on Twitter because, Jeff, we're making this a trend. We're trying to do a live pregame show. From all the different places we go with UC Riverside basketball, as well as the home games. Yeah, I'm tell you what, it's been a fantastic uh, trip thus far. We've been here on the one of the nicer campuses in America, the Air Force Academy here in uh, Colorado. A little snow outside, one of the most beautiful uh, venues you're ever going to see. But, wow, what a great place, and I'm excited to cover this game uh, versus the Air Force Academy tonight. Now, this is a game, interesting enough, that we won. We beat Air Force at the SRC Arena last year by nearly 20 points. We're hoping, it's always tough to win on the road, but we're hoping to see similar results tonight. Yeah, it was one of the more convincing wins for the Highlanders last year. In fact, it you know propelled them for a couple nice victories, but that one was a good, good benchmark at the SRC. We're hoping with an, you know, we're an improved team. The Highlanders are much improved this year. And we're hoping that they can take that lead. they got to get an early lead in order to get the win here on the road against a very good Mountain West Conference team. Yeah, this is a, a very good uh, Mountain West Conference period. I mean, we see the banners hanging up inside uh, the arena here, which is absolutely beautiful. In fact, and just on, on the other side of this wall is a, a hockey rink. Uh, they're big-time hockey uh, players out here. Yeah, one of them. I mean, it is the biggest facility I've ever seen. You and I just took a tour and saw the football locker rooms. They have a full-size track. They have a, uh, a hockey, full-size hockey arena that any NHL team would probably be happy to play in, and then this beautiful basketball arena here. But wow, you'd, like you mentioned, the Mountain West Conference, Nevada, top five program. San Diego State has made the tournament virtually every year for the last 20 plus years. UNLV, San Diego State, Fresno State, there are some good, tough, tough teams in this conference. Yeah, some very good basketball being played in the Mountain West Conference. But speaking of good basketball, you see Riverside coming off a huge win against Loyola Marymount, a, an LMU team that, Jeff, their, their only previous loss came to UCLA. So UCLA and UC Riverside in some elite company as the only teams to beat the Lions up to that point. Yeah, and I'll tell you, they did it by playing smart basketball. We saw the Highlanders earlier in the season, and they didn't have their identity. They were running up down the floor. They tried to run at a, a frantic pace. The turnovers mounted. They averaged over 20-plus uh, turnovers per game the last five games, under 11 turnovers. They are playing great basketball, possession basketball. They shoot well. They play solid defense, and they're playing great half-court offense. All right, so we're going to hear from David Patrick, the head coach of the Highlanders. We caught up with him at shoot-around to talk about not only tonight's contest against the Air Force Falcons, but also, you know, coming off that huge win against LMU, they did a lot of things very well. How do you keep that momentum going, especially on the road in a tough place like Air Force? And, and Jeff, it was a battle just to get over here. It's freezing. Like, it's below freezing, and it's starting to snow when we walked in. Well, just put it this way. Last night when, when we went to bed, it was one degrees, I believe. So, yeah, it's a little chilly. The snow dusting started coming in. Hopefully we'll be able to get out of here tonight to get to Michigan because Colorado weather, a lot of snow. It could happen. We can have a blizzard at any moment. You don't want to get stuck. No. The plan is tonight to go to Denver uh, after the game, and hopefully – it's a big win. Here's head coach David Patrick talking about tonight's contest with Air Force. And welcome to the Highlander pregame show as UC Riverside getting set to take on Air Force here in Colorado Springs. We're joined by Highlanders head coach David Patrick. And coach, man, keeping up that momentum off a, a very emotional and big win against Loyola Marymount. Um, a lot of great things for the Highlanders in that win. What were some of those positives in that win against LMU that you're hoping to see carry over into this game against Air Force? Look, I, I think against LMU it's one of the few games that we didn't start, you know, losing. You know, we, we go in the first media the last few games down and then we'd mm -hmm. have to crawl our way out of the hole. I thought against LMU we came out and struck first, uh, made some big shots early and got some big defensive stops early, which gave us some confidence and got us going. So I'm hopeful here on the road we can make that same impact of, of striking the first blow. Yeah, I was going to say, it's even magnified, right, on the road. Like, you don't want to go down, especially by double digits, playing on the road in a place that could potentially have a lot of fans in the house, be very uh, a raucous environment. So how important is it for you guys to just have a strong start and, and keep that game close early on? Oh, it's, it's very important. A lot of it starts at the defensive end. You know, you got to get stops early so you can go down and have a chance to score. you got to take care of the ball early, too, you know, on the road. 
Um, we've turned it over a little bit more on the road than I would like, and it's got, got teams transition. Uh, but as of late, we've taken care of the ball better, uh, which has stopped teams from getting easy points on us. So I'm hopeful, especially here at Air Force, that we, we can limit our turnovers early, take good shots, and make it hard for them to score and transition early in, in this game. Now, last season, this team really struggled shooting the basketball, especially from beyond the arc. And this year, you're the top sh three-point shooting team in the Big West, percentage-wise right now. Um, I think it was eight three-pointers last game. Your magic number is like 10, right? Yeah, yeah. So if you hit 10 in a game, you feel like you guys have a good chance to win. Talk about the three-point shooting, and, and if you can hit 10 in a game, that means the team's doing pretty well. Look, I think, you know, you've been with us a lot on the road. We shoot, we shoot, we shoot a lot, you know, and I knew that was an issue when we came in. Um, but taking good shots, I think, on the road, if you can make threes, um, it, it just helps you. Uh, if you don't get the same calls on the road that you do at home, it's just natural. It's, 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 um, so you don't get the same free throws you do on the road. So if you can make some threes and, and, and separate yourself in that area, it gives you a chance. And then conversely, you got to defend the three, uh, which we've done a good job of late. Um, so I think if we're hitting threes and defending the three, it gives us a very good chance in any game we play. And finally, Coach, um, even going back to the LMU game, the maturity of a team over the course of a season, winning a close game down the stretch. I mean, how, just confidence-wise, how important was that for this team to gut one out down the stretch like that? I think it was huge because as much as we just talked about shooting, I think it came down to getting stops and rebounding, um, and taking care of the ball. It had nothing to do with shooting because we didn't shoot the ball great. Um, down the stretch against LMU, but we did do the little things that helped win, winning games, and I'm just glad that they could see you can win games not just by offense, by defending, by rebounding, by taking care of the ball. And when you do that, you can beat good teams like LMU because LMU is a great team that we beat. So that was head coach David Patrick talking about tonight's contest against the Air Force Falcons. Jeff, the Highlanders have been shooting the three-point ball very, very well. 14 threes against Life Pacific. They followed that up with eight and that big win against LMU. Head coach David Patrick kind of put that magic number at 10. He says if they can hit 10 threes in a game, more times than not, they're going to come out with a W. Well, yeah, if you're playing possession basketball, Pep, and you're going to walk the floor up and run your offense, and you can, you're able to get 10 threes, that's 30 points of your offense. They're not, you know, they're averaging just 64 points a game. If you can get half of your average off of threes and run your offense, you have an opportunity to win almost every ball game. Well, they have been shooting the ball very well, which is a stark cr uh, contrast to what we saw last year, Jeff, because this is a team that struggled shooting from the outside. They flipped the script. They've found a way to shoot even well from uh, beyond the arc. So this is a different team, much different from last season. And again, they beat Air Force by nearly 20 last year, despite having trouble shooting the basketball. Yeah, I mean, let's let's just put it in perspective. Last year, UC Riverside, the Highlanders, they were bottom of the conference in three-point percentage, three-point makes, three-point attempts. This year, they are top on all three levels. Percentage, attempts, and makes. Yeah, number one of all Big West teams shooting the three-pointer at nearly 37%. But Dikembe Martin is still the only guy scoring the double figures right now at over 16 a contest. But again, it always seems to be who's going to be that supporting cast? Who's going to step up on that night? Will it be Minnow Dykstra? Will it be Dragon Elkaz? Who's that Who's that other guy? Well, I'll tell you what. We've seen a Johnny Kennedy has been f fantastic as of late. And Zach Watson, a true freshman. And, and you look at him, he passes the eyeball test. He is a monster. He's improved. When you get those young guys improving and guys that are coming off the bench that can contribute, they're going to be pretty tough to stop coming Big West uh, season. All right, so let's point people over to GoHighlanders.com. Listen to the game live as UCR is taking on Air Force. In fact, we're going to start our live pregame show in about 10, 15 minutes from now at GoHighlanders.com so you can check it out live. Also, uh, the UCR women back in action tonight um, as they are taking on New Mexico State. And that game will also be live, and I believe you can find that. I don't know if it's on Riverside TV. It is on Riverside it's on TV. It's on Riverside TV, and our guy Cullen Holt will have the call. Our own our own little guy, Cullen he's Holt. He's growing up right in front of us. Oh, man, I tell you, he's, he's calling Division One basketball <laughs> now. He's going to outgross. He's going to be on the, on the big-time network television someday. He's going to be big-time. You can see him tonight. Listen to the call as the UCR women will take on New Mexico State. As for us, the Air Force Falcons have taken the courts. Uh, UCR was out warming up a little bit earlier. They're back in the locker room right now. We're going to take a break here on the Inland Sports YouTube channel and our Twitter feed as well and point you guys all over to GoHighlanders.com.
Ticketmaster.com to check out the game live. We'll have the call live from Colorado Springs, and then it's on to Denver tonight as we make our way to Kalamazoo to see Western Michigan on Sunday afternoon, which you can also hear live on GoHighlanders.com. Inland Sports is always brought to you by Spoiled, Quick Quality Oil Change, Ken Sporting Goods, Boost Performance Training, and Catalano Motors in Corona. Jeff, you made it out of your bed. Uh, if you saw the Inland Sports Show today, Jeff was in his bed, but he's out. I was lounging and having a great time talking <laughs> a little sports in the hotel room. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out the Inland Sports Show live from our hotel room. Uh, it was a lot of fun with Jeff literally just lying on his bed doing the show. Yes, it was great. For Jeff Gorham, I'm Pep Fernandez. We'll see you uh, next time for Inland Sports, but check out the game in about 15 minutes at GoHighlanders.com. The Inland Sports Show is brought to you by Spoiled. Quick quality oil change. Spoil yourself and your car at Spoiled. Kin Sporting Goods. They have all of your sporting gear needs, letterman's jackets, and team uniforms. Catalano Motors in Corona off of Temescal Canyon Road. You're going to save thousands of dollars at Catalano Motors. And boost performance training with Coach Ray Bass. Athletes of all levels and all sports are going to boost performance training in Corona.